Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ross Draws and Happy New Year! I'm a tiny bit late. I've been moving into my new place. There's uh, not much stuff yet, um, but they're probably gonna be an official tour video, so look out for that. Let me show you the video real quick. Let's go. Hi, James. Oh, this is uh, my fake tree, which we all love. Yeah, it's a whole new view and a whole new world, which I thought would be really cool to do Jasmine from Aladdin. Yes, beautiful, beautiful Princess Jasmine. My favorite part of this house is actually this fruit tree. Come here. Isn't this beautiful? Grove lemons, which is good for vitamin C. And maybe we could use this amazing fruit tree as our inspiration today. I'm gonna take a quick picture of it. Awesome. I'll see you back inside where we can start the painting. Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, this is a sketch I did of Jasmine, and this is my new setup. You know, all fresh and stuff, very clean. I hope you guys enjoy it, but we forgot to do our intro, so let's uh, squeeze that in real quick. Ross Jaws! Jasmine. I hope you don't mind, there's a slight echo. I haven't filled out this place yet. And of course, we were outside, you know, we took our reference photo, and this is what we have. It's our lemon tree in all its glory. It's gonna be a fun one, you know? We have blues from the skies, we have yellow from the lemon, and warmth all around here. So let's just dig in. Progress of Jasmine so far. Oh, and the, the lemon earring. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to work on this, and I'll check back soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, this is the uh, progress of Jasmine so far. She has a more darker skin tone, I'm trying to implement that. And I kept her lemon earring. And before we move forward, I'm gonna give some cool light because it's bouncing on here. Those highlights create a really nice surface texture and it really helps pop it. Yeah, some things I'm thinking about is trying to really emphasize the gesture line right here. This really nice curve, and then we look at the face. And then I'm echoing things like the earring, you know, circle, circle. I feel like it's missing some really strong vertical lines. A good practice I love to do is think about my environment and how it can help my composition. Where are we? We're probably in a jungle forest somewhere, you know, and maybe there's a waterfall. So here, it's a little more immersed into the scene, you know, more storytelling. So I'm just gonna jump back on this, and I'll check back soon. Hey guys, welcome back! Yeah, so I was talking about the story, you know, how to bring the viewer into the scene more, you know, being immersed in what you have to say. So here's a great opportunity to play with depth of field. It looks like a painting right now, right? And I want a little more cinematic effect. So go to textures.com, I love this site. And I found this really cool plant. Awesome, look at this. This plant on top of her head, like that. Oh, perfect, now she's balancing it. No, I'm just gonna enlarge it, like that. And I'm gonna change the values. And now it matches that scene a little more. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We are just gonna knock it down just a little bit like that. Ah, oh, beautiful, that's a sweet spot right there. Before and after. And you can really tell, you know, it helps bring us into the scene more. Oh, that's beautiful actually. I really like that. Yeah! And you can tell immediately, you know, we're really more immersed in the scene. I hope you like it. I'm almost done, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll check back soon. Yo, Jasmine! It's color dodge time! Oh man, here we go! Here we go! Ooh, ooh. Oh. Lemon dodge! <laughs> Wish one, my arm! Wish two, color dodge! Wish three, Hey 
Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the year. You now trying to spice up the set a little bit with the big tree we have. We're trying to add some life. But yeah, I'm really excited for this year. You know, my first convention is Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle. Yeah, I'll give you more information on that later. If you're interested in bonus content and extended video tutorials, I'm taking you through the process of how I create Jasmine. It also comes with a personal illustration I did for my book. So if you're interested, come check out my Patreon. And the print winner is the first winner of the year, Carmel Jones. Yes, congratulations. And if you want a chance to win a print, this episode's question is, what's your New Year's resolution? Some of mine are to definitely work on my book, Nima's book, and to be tighter, you know, clean, tight, you know, neat. And I know I have a lot of icons on my desktop. You know, when you take screenshots and they just build up. Let me know yours in the comments below and I'll choose a lucky subscriber. Also, I miss Milo, he's coming home soon. But don't forget to subscribe and remember, every day is a color dodge day.